Well, I've got good lighting tonight. The kitchen light's on in there. I don't know how long they're going to leave it on. I don't know. Good evening, everybody. Welcome to my channel. You're always welcome to my channel, Back to the Altar Ministries. This is Minister Gloria. God bless you. And uh, I just wanted to touch a little bit on the last video I did uh, three nights ago. Jesus Christ is our mighty healer. I want to touch a little bit on that. And uh, be talking about a little something else too. Um, when you think back to the to the to the TV evangelists, you know, in the '80s and in the '90s, Robert Tilton is one of them. Robert Tilton, the Word of Faith, you know, and all that Word of Faith movement and all that charismatic stuff. Okay. When I did my broadcast, when I did my broadcast the other night, I felt the Lord led me to do that broadcast. And we don't heal. God's power heals us, heals people. The Holy Spirit, He's the one that does the healings. And yes, sometimes people aren't healed. We know that too. Some people are not healed until they, till they pass. And but I felt that the Lord wanted me to get on there and do that. It has nothing to do with the name it and claim it thing or or uh, word of faith. It was just something that the, I felt the Lord wanted me to do, and I'm I'm going to do it again one of these nights. Because yes, the Lord is still healing. He is He is healing. And there will be more healings. And yes, people will not, some people will not be healed if, if it's not his will. Just like my dad, like my dad. We had people to, to pray over him, but it was his time to go. It was his time to go. Just like he told us two years before he, two years before he died. He said, God's going to take me out. I've said this before, but that's okay. You know, and we, we both, Mom and I both told Dad, they said, don't, we said, don't talk like that, Dad. And he said, it's the truth. God's going to take me out. They prayed for him. He wasn't healed. There's reasons. Like I said, for years, I did not understand it. I was mad at God. But I finally, then, then I did, I understood some of it. I understood you know, and um, I want to tell you a little story about my mother. Yes, we used to watch Bob Tilton. We watched Robert Tilton. Yes, we did. My mother had cardiovascular disease, and she was also diabetic. And she was watching Robert Tilton. When he, when he said, put your hand on the TV, mother went over there to the TV, and she put her hand on the TV. And she said she felt something go up her arm. Bob Tilton didn't do it. Bob Tilton did not do it. The power of God healed her of her cardiovascular disease. Strong bugs, that life strong bugs. But there was even x-rays. They showed before the healing and after. There was scar tissue there where uh, it showed that she had it but, it, but it was gone. It was gone. The doctor couldn't explain it. And, uh, but that's a testimony. I know that. I know because I was there. I was there. Bob Tilton didn't do it. Bob Tilton did not do it. It was the power of God from the Holy Spirit. And yes, there are mosquitoes out. Bob Tilton didn't do it. It was her faith in God, her faith that, that caused the healing. The Lord healed her. That's right. Like I said, I'm a testimony to that. So that's what I say. If we believe, 
we have to have it said just a little bit of faith just a grain like a grain of a mustard seed and it's usually his will for people to be healed it's his will if you have enough faith if you have the faith and again that's why i did that broadcast the other night i felt the holy spirit leading me to get on there and do that and that's what i did i haven't heard any testimonies yet i haven't heard any testimonies don't mean that there won't be doesn't mean that there won't be and i'm not i'm not doubting one bit i'm not doubting one bit you know I'm not doubting one bit because he's the mighty physician and something else too thank you jesus there's going to come a time where we won't have doctors to go to we'll only have jesus we'll only have jesus the mighty physician to touch us We'll only have the Lord to touch us and heal us. Only the Lord. Think about that too. There won't be any doctors. There won't be no doctors. Because nine times out of ten, if there is, we wouldn't be able to afford to go to one anyway. So we'll have to completely rely on the Lord for everything. He just turned the light out. That's probably a good thing in a way because I saw a couple mosquitoes, so. But we'll have to, we'll have to rely totally upon Jesus, totally on the Lord, to take us through whatever whatever illness that we go through or whatever. And I want to give God all the honor and the praise because we made it. To, we made it. We made it to payday. We got paid today. We, we got paid today. We was able to catch up a couple of our bills, catch them up a little bit. We're still behind. We're still behind, but we were able to catch a couple of them up. So that was a, that's a praise report. Because I know that my God shall supply all of my needs according to his riches in glory. And like I've said before, and I'm going to say it again. If you feel led to give to me to help, that would be greatly appreciated. And if you don't feel led to, then don't, you know. I wanted, to, I wanted to say that again. There's nothing wrong in helping a brother and a sister that's in need. And we're going to need the money to move on. Catch up some of these bills before we leave Illinois. Yes, we are going to leave Illinois. We're moving to a red state. We're moving to a red state. I'll tell you more later on. I'll tell you more later on. It'll probably be within two or three months which means we're going to have to stay here a while longer, which is okay. Which is okay because God will take us through. He'll take us through. So I'm going to reiterate something again. If you don't want to give, fine. But if you do feel led to, it would be greatly appreciated. Greatly appreciated. I just wanted to tell you that too. But I felt the power of the power of the Holy Spirit on me the other night. I felt the power of the Holy Spirit. Somebody somebody got healed. Somebody did. Maybe more than one. Maybe more than one. There's also liver cancer. Liver disease. That could have been healed. And other types of diseases. could have been healed that night the Holy Spirit just gave me a few he, he gave me a few diabetes has been known to, to be healed too and I am type 2 diabetic it's in check it's, it, it is in check and I try to watch on the carbo carbohydrates and stuff like that I try to watch I'm not perfect with it but diabetes scares me. Diabetes scares me because it can it can it can kill a person. There's been a lot of pancreatic cancer. Pancreatic cancer, and that's one of the cancers that's very hard to detect until they're already in the last stages of it. 
So somebody could have been healed of pancreatic cancer that night. You know, all kinds of things, all kinds of things. But the Lord, the Lord is still healing. The Lord is still doing miracles. He's still doing miracles, you guys. In all different sorts of things, in, in finances, restorations of relationships, marriages. In these last days, in these last days, men will find their spouses, women will find theirs. Just have, just keep the faith, have faith. Just have faith. Just have faith in our Lord and what the Word says. If you have the faith of a grain of a mustard seed. See, what's that verse that says it's good for a man to have a wife? It's good that a man has a wife. I can't remember how it's worded, you know. And a lot of people expect the spouse to be like this or be like that. No, you accept them the way they are. And <clears throat> if they don't believe the same, same way we do, that's when you pray, you shine your light for them to see. Shine your light. And they get to thinking, well, whatever, whatever they've got, I want that. I want that. Let our light shine. Let us be the beacon, the beacon of light for others to see. See Jesus in us. See Jesus in us. When we get mad and want to lash out, we don't. We pray, Lord, bridle, bridle my tongue, bridle my tongue. There's been lots of times that I have gotten in my flesh and got angry and then I, I repented because that's what the devil wants the devil wants us to retaliate and come back at people when they're being poopy that's just in our nature to want to come back at people we don't do that men and women of God are supposed to bridle our tongues return love for hate return love for hate doesn't matter what they say we come back with a with a a loving response not one in, of retaliation a loving response and if they can't try to get to you one way then they'll then they'll try another another way to get you angry just let them just let them know that it don't bother you no matter what they say that it isn't going to bother you no matter what they say it's not going to get to you we are covered by the blood of jesus we have jesus's love on us and in us jesus jesus is in our hearts and like i said earlier getting back to the doctor thing there will come a time that there will be no doctors be no doctors We'll have to rely rely totally on Jesus. Totally on Jesus to heal us. You know, if the Holy Spirit thinks that we don't need him, he'll he'll move away from us. He'll move away if if he thinks that we don't need him. And we do. We need the Holy Spirit. Now, more than ever, we need the Holy Spirit, just like the gifts, the gifts of the Spirit. We need them now more than ever. The Bible says, covet to, to prophesy. The tongues are the least of the gifts, yes. But they are still around. They are still around. And I wanted to give a special shout out to Ket, uh, oh, what the, oh. Sister Cat, I can't think of the last name, Ger, uh, Zergoff, Zergoff, I think, 
but you know who you are. <laughs> I want to give a special shout out to you, sis. I'm glad that, that you joined my channel. Blessings to you. And I dearly love the prayer family on Gospel Minute Live. I dearly love them. And yes, I share the broadcast to Twitter and to Facebook. You know, very good people that love the Lord. Very good people that love the Lord. And the Bible studies are, I love the Bible studies. I sure do. And there's nothing wrong with that. There's nothing wrong with that. Even if we may not agree on everything that, that, that they talk about, that's okay too. We are all the body of Christ. We are all in the body of Christ. If we love Jesus and we serve Jesus Christ, we are the body of Christ. We are a part of the body of Christ. It's not just one, one religion, one church, whatever. We are the church. We are the church. The body of Christ. We are the church. Yes, we are. We are the church. We are the church. You know, if more people would just love, love one another, just love one another, be kind to one another. And I've said this lots and lots of times, but if we would just love one another, be kind, pray for one another, lift one another up, There's just too much judging going on. I know that there's righteous judgment. I know that there is righteous judgment. But we have to be careful what and who we are we are judging. So what is that? Ephesians 5.11 uh, Have no fellowship with the workings of darkness but expo expose them I mean that's true, but you got to know how. You got to know how, and you got to know what to say, not to say the wrong thing, not to say the wrong thing. That sounds judgmental. That sounds judgmental. People judge me because I wear lipstick. Or I might wear a little bit of eye makeup once in a while. Just for some color. Jesus don't care about that as long as you don't look like a Jezebel. If you wear jewelry, well that's up to that's up to that's up to you. I don't wear jewelry. Well, I wear my necklaces sometimes. I wear my watch. I don't wear a lot of jewelry. But if I did, that would be my business, you know, and the Lord wouldn't care. I know there's a verse, there's verses in the Bible about being all adorned, you know, with all, with all the jewelry or whatever. But I know what he means. I know what he means in the, in the word. I know what he means. I know what he means. Ouch. So anyway, I forgot to do the Lord's Prayer to, st to start this. We've already been on here 19 minutes. So anyway, this is Minister Gloria Drummond. Back to the Alder Ministries. I love you all with the love of Christ Jesus. I love you, each and every one of you, with the love of Christ. And I believe there will be some testimonies. And one of these nights... If the Holy Spirit leads me to get back on and do another one, I'll get back on and, and do another prayer prayer video. <clears throat> I'll get back on and do another one. The Holy Spirit doesn't need to prove anything, but <clears throat> it's to prove to people that He is healing today. 
He is healing today. Witnesses of his healing. It was the point, it's the point of contact. Like when I put my hand up against the, the screen. It's the point of contact of your faith, of your faith. That's what healed my mother that time. That's what healed her. It wasn't Bob Tilton. It was her faith in God, knowing that he could heal her. She had enough faith. That's right. So I'm not into the name it and claim it and, and all that. I'm not into all that. I do, I do say I decree and declare. I do say that. I don't, maybe I, I'm not supposed to do that. I don't know, but I do. All the workings of evil coming against all the workings of darkness. But I wanted to come out here tonight. It's a beautiful night. There's my light. There's my light. I wanted to come out here tonight and get on and, and talk to you guys a little bit. I don't know what I'm going to title this yet. Because this is kind of a, a, a spin-off. Kind of a... Um, oh, from the last one I did. Jesus Christ is our mighty healer. Our mighty physician. It's kind of a part two of that. So, and again, I will say, sometimes he doesn't heal. He doesn't heal until, until we cross over. Sometimes we don't get our healings. So, but like I said, he doesn't want us sick. He doesn't want us sick. He doesn't want us sick. So anyway, I think I'll do the Our Father. And again, I love you all with the love of Christ. Kisses and hugs. Kisses and hugs to each and every one of you. To my four, five subscribers. I love you all on here. And I also love you all on Jesus is the Answer Ministries. That's my other channel. 321 subscribers on there. And when I can... When I can figure out how to get back on there to record, I will. I will. So, back to the altar ministries. I'll never forget it. Again, I asked the Lord. I said, Lord, will you please give me the name to my new channel? Because I'd been sitting thinking about all different kinds of names. And it, was, it wasn't even five minutes, four minutes. Back to the altar ministries. Wow, I had my aha moment. <laughs> Back to the altar ministries. Praise the Lord, hallelujah. Praise the Lord, hallelujah. So I'm going to do the Our Father, okay? Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen and amen in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Right to left. I still cross myself sometimes, and that's okay. It's okay to cross ourselves. It's okay. So, anyway... All right, I love you guys. I'm going to get ready and get off of here for now. And I got a, something down my back. I don't, some kind of a bug or something that got down my back. All right, you guys. Be blessed and not stressed. Be blessed and not stressed. Keep your eyes on Jesus. Focus not to the right or to the left. But focus straight ahead on Jesus. And he does answer prayers. He does answer prayers. He's also, he, he's also a rewarder of those who diligently seek him. 
and seek you seek ye first the kingdom of God and all his righteousness and then these things shall be added unto you put Jesus first of, above anyone or anything else put him first again for God shall supply all of my need according to his riches in glory so I'll say this again if you felt if you feel led to give to me to, to the ministry then do it you'll be blessed he blesses the receiver as well as the giver he re, he, he blesses just remember that also so all right you guys i love you to my next broadcast keep the faith and may your lives be filled with the light that is in christ jesus that is so beautiful may your lives be filled with the light that is in Christ Jesus. Okay, good night, you guys. Good night.